All right, so the session is getting recorded now, and today it's the first session. And the question, to do answer your question, if in case of any, uh, you know, anything which you missed across, we do have uh, the recordings which you'll get access to. You can refer to the recordings and come up with your questions in the next session. That's what you can really do. Since the recording has just started, I would like to know that, uh, I would like to inform that, uh, You've just covered the introduction part. All right, when I say the introduction part, uh, I've introduced myself and all the participants have introduced themselves. Along with that, they have mentioned what are their expectations, right? In terms of the training, we haven't really started yet anything. Perfect, any other thing which uh, you would like to ask guys? So uh, each one of you are gonna be provided across a specific website. I would also like to tell you this. Now the way it's gonna work like, let me just uh, scribble across a few things. So now these are some uh, ground rules and some basic things guys which I want to inform each one of you before we start with our entire training. One second. All right, so the flow of the training, guys, it's, uh, as you all know, this is, uh, they're gonna be like 24 to 25 sessions and all, all right? I hope everybody is aware of this. 24 to 25 sessions of uh, four hours each. And uh, what it may, really means is 25, multiplied by four is equal to gonna be having across 100 hours in total, right? Everybody is, everybody is aware of that. If in case of any uh, further query you've got, keep typing that across in the chat window. And also the other thing which I would like to tell you, this is the first session, right? The first session started with introduction with your uh, overall Expectation. Now I'm gonna keep across this document, guys. Expectations I have noted down. If I have to really pen them down across in in my document, it's more about that you guys want to build your career into digital marketing, right? And uh, you want to get across more knowledge around that. You want to have more knowledge. You want to have more hands-on onto digital marketing campaigns. Just let me know if in case you've got certain other guys hands on, on digital marketing uh, concepts, right? Since you want to build your career into this, you want to build your career into digital marketing. Is there, if there's any other thing guys that you want me to point it out over here, I can, I can, uh, you know, mention it right over here. So this is, uh, the very first session, which is April 1st, 2017. And the last session is gonna be uh, in June. I think it's going, it's gonna be June 17th or, or so. This is an approximate date, right? So 24 to 25 sessions in all for 100 hours in total. These are your expectations. We've got the list. All right, 18th June. All right, thanks for letting me know. And Another thing which I would like to tell you that another expectation is that, which I'm gonna meet out is that each one of you will get certified, will get certified by Google at the end of the day, at the end of the training. Uh, when we say Google certifications, there are gonna be several Google certifications, guys. Google AdWords, all right which does include search, fundamental search and display. So there are three major fundamentals plus search plus display guys. All right. Now this is one, one part of uh, certification of Google AdWords. And the other certifications which uh, you guys would be getting across from, the, from Google is gonna be Google Mobile, Google 
shopping and then there's going to be google analytics all right so we've got uh one two three four and uh, and i'm missing out the name on uh, another one let me just uh, pull it up so the score which you really need in terms of google adwords exam right google e-commerce is another one that's right pretty thanks the score which you need is uh, 80 80 and 85 depending upon so some of the examinations is 80 and some of them is 85 so you can take across as a ballpark figure of 85 out of 100 all right so these are some of the certifications which uh, you'll get eligible for plus uh, certification from bing guys is another one which i'm going to focus on all right certification bing ad certification basically All right, so what's going to happen uh, when you will get certified, your, if these certifications guys are going to be available across in your personal Google account. So the way you will be able to see that across, let me just show you, it's going to be something like this. All right, just so I'm just logging into my personal account and showing you. All right, so you know what you would be able to do when once you'll give it across these certifications, your exams and so forth, you'll be able to check your certification by going into google.com forward slash partners. I'm letting you know the procedure, all right? The procedure to check your certification once it's gonna be done. You have to click on to my profile underneath overview. All right, so they have changed. They've changed their overall way they uh, showcase the stuff, all right. So here are the overall examinations which have been, all right, so the, the profile is going to be like this. All right, so that was the e-commerce and shopping was same, guys, I'm sorry. It is the video which the name I was missing out on to, all right. So e-commerce is something which was being already covered by shopping, it's the video, thanks. Anyway, so it's going to be Google Mobile, Google Shopping, Google Antics, Google Videos, and Google AdWords uh, being the other one. And this is how it's going to really look like. So you know what we will be able to do? You'll be using such URL, the URL, URL as in the web address, which you can see right up over here. I usually copy, copy this URL, this web address, and share it across in my signatures, everywhere, wherever you want to go ahead and promote yourself. All right. So this way, what's gonna happen, you're gonna, you're gonna let the entire world know that yes, you are certified by Google, not just in one, I mean, in all, each one of them. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my document and, so this document which I'm preparing, guys, will share it with each one of, with each one of you, all right? To so check your certifications, you will have to visit google.com forward slash partners, all right? And I've given you the overall walkthrough of how do you really can check that. You can anytime refer to recording of session one, all right? Okay, guys, I'm, I'm deliberately trying to speak a bit slowly because I'm not really sure on uh, how uh, it's gonna be like like everybody has got their own way of consuming it content somebody some people are good with uh, some people are uh, good with the fast approach and uh, some people like it to be on a moderate pace so i'm taking a moderate pace to begin with we'll see as things will move further 
whether I have to increase the speed and so forth and so on. Now, these are some ground rules. And I also did mention uh, that uh, I'll unmute you in certain occasions if needed. Plus, we're going to be having a cross couple of uh, a, a long break and a short break just to give a breather to everybody. Okay. Now, what else? Plus, the other thing, guys, I would also like to tell you. So now today is your first session. During After the first session, I, I've actually requested that this thing should happen on the very first session itself. Each one of you would be provided across a website. Now, when I say website, have you guys been provided a website yet? I'm not sure. Uh, have you got any information about the website? When are you going to be? Not yet. All right. All right. So I'll, I'll make sure that you get across the website because the very first session, after giving you the basic information about digital marketing, I'll be taking over the very first session, which is related to website designing and development. You know, the idea behind this course is to make each one of you be an independent consultant on your own to be an independent person on your own without having uh, any dependency on either a designer, developer, content creator, and so forth. All right. So this is another expectation which I can type in over here. So not just getting Google certified, not just building across your, uh, you know, it's all about building your career into digital marketing. I'm pinpointing everything over here in terms of the expectation. And it's all about being an independent you can say our digital marketing powerhouse you know where you would be not needing a class no dependency uh, majorly on a developer or a designer or maybe a content writer Usually what you will see, various other trainings uh, which you will you'll, uh, attend. I mean, you know, this is how uh, my training is going to be separated from others training. The other trainings will, I mean, that, that's how I can really tell you, you know, how I really separate myself from the others. With the other trainers training, what happens is they, they'll tell you, they'll tell you that, okay, this is something where you have to take assistance from a developer. This is where you have to take assistance from, a, let's say, a video creator a content creator, you know, a designer or a developer. Now, with my training, I will be imparting you knowledge about how can you really uh, work across on the coding part without having any coding knowledge. So some of the part of the coding would be to talk about me in the most non-technical fashion, all right? So another expectation which I can let you know is that all the things which we'll be learning across would be non-technical. But when I say non-technical, you don't need to have any knowledge about any specific, uh, you know, tags or any specific codes and so forth. So no technical information to be imparted or educated. All right. Anything which is, I mean, everything, which is going to be understood in a non-technical manner, in a very layman language. That's what I'm going to be working upon. Uh, there are going to be places, there are going to be situations when, uh, you know, I'll be opening across the codes where I'll be going ahead and talking about something which might sound French to you. All right. Uh, but I'll make it a point that I make you understand those French things, or I'm just, I'm just giving an example. I make you understand those, uh, technical names understood in the most easiest manner. All right. So no uh, technical information to be imparted across in the most easiest fashion. That's what I can say. All right, now, if in case of any other thing, guys, which you can remember, which you can recall from the expectation point of view, you can let me know. I'll talk about the website part also as we'll move further. The other expectation which I can mention is that I will be showcasing you. All right, I will showcase live campaigns. When I say live campaigns, I've got my own clients, I did tell you. 
all right so so live campaigns of my existing clients are on on my own agency so i'll not be just going ahead and picking up uh, you know slides and then depicting you depicting the information reading out the information that okay this is what happens that's what you can really do this is how you can really set up a campaign and run it across and so forth no i'll be ensuring that you do get across an understanding of creation of campaigns by me going ahead and specifically doing a walk through in front of you plus also showcasing live campaigns of my existing clients or maybe my past clients the clients which are going to be giving me the permission so this is another expectation which i can really point out from my side plus i would be giving you information i would be giving you walk throughs live walk throughs right which is hands on digital marketing concept only the practical approach in this only i can put this across is very similar to this live walk through of all the tools live walk through of all the tools guys which are needed and to be used in a day to day life in a day to day working life of a digital marketer guys all right so that's going to be the other thing one more thing is the lessons which i have learned lessons which the trainer has learned in his or her overall professional working in this field you want to learn that you want those to be imparted so if i have uh, burned my hands all right i have burned my hands and i have gained something out of it that overall thing which i have gained that should be not only stay with me the uh, the right thing is to go ahead and share that piece of information and share that knowledge with everyone whom ever i'm imparting knowledge now i'm another thing which i would like to tell you how how my training is going to be different guys is that i'm not just a trainer all right i'm not just a trainer a full time trainer who will be just going ahead and uh, you know keep reading out the slides and knows uh, certain things uh, you know he knows certain things and he will keep repeating them again and again in his overall session so i keep educating myself so the trainer basically so trainer needs to be updated basically and that's what you guys said that you want this is your expectation trainer needs to impart education on the new concepts only on the new concepts and the on the new concepts we can say and uh, for that being said i as a trainer always go for train the trainer thing also all right so i keep training myself and uh, that is something which help my participants to give me a second i'm just going to go ahead and uh, improve the size of the font over here i'll i'll bigger the font size so that it's visible to everyone perfectly all right if there is anything else which you guys can think of uh, let me know Oops. all right i'll if i'll have more more things to talk maybe in in later stage if you think that this is something which i should uh, take it across as uh, you know in my approach in my overall uh, training approach i'll i'll put that across okay one more thing is that for the live training guys you are being imparted across a website now how a website is being created right from the beginning how do you really go ahead and uh, book a domain book a hosting now these are certain inputs and resources which you need uh, i'll be i'll be starting from those basics i'll be starting from uh, the, the most minute level things and then we'll move further to the uh, more advanced version as we'll walk through plus 
my training, I'm not going to just ensure that you are being given across a walkthrough from my side and uh, I'll, I'll leave it on you whether you go ahead and uh, work around onto it or not. It's not going to be, it's not going to happen like this. I will ensure that in my training, every trainee, every trainee, first of all, gets his or her website made for sure, right? There would be reviews done by me. So it's not just that I'll go ahead and ask, impart your education that, okay, the website is going to be created like this. I have created my website in this way. Okay, you guys go ahead and do it. And I'll leave it on you. No, there are going to be reviews. There are going to be overall uh, feedback. So reviews and feedbacks on, this is just one example that on website, making the reviews and feedbacks on every single so or even on this every trainee gets his own website for sure reviews and feedbacks will be provided so whether that reviews and feedbacks are being provided through email i'll ensure that happens so that you're being given across a direction you're being you're being told that where each one of you have gone wrong and where each one of you have gone uh, right but what is to be maintained in terms of his key core strength area and what is to be uh, improved upon right so reviews and feedbacks are very important for letting each one of you know how you are doing will be provided to every trainee and another bottleneck now there is one uh, biggest bottleneck guys which i have seen in my trainings at several places that you know when it comes down to paid advertising when it comes to comes down to paid advertising guys what happens is that we usually are stuck over there the trainees are not able to you know learn the paid advertising in full because uh, nobody wants to spend in money from their pocket because you know they say that okay we have already invested money in uh, you know pursuing this training pursuing this course now why on earth are we being uh, you know asked to spend in more money to uh, to, to move ahead to, to you know uh, to learn this concept but let me tell you, uh, we, cannot, we cannot force anyone, all right? As a trainer, I cannot force anyone to spend in money from your pocket. I'm not allowed and, I'm, and it, it's not justifiable for me. You guys have already made that investment. So I'm, I'm looking for a provision where the paid advertising bottleneck, which is, uh, you know, who should spend in the money, I'm going to take that ownership and I'm looking for some collaboration with Google where I will be spending some from my pocket and certain amount I will make Google to spend in that across. So just to give you a flavor, a paid advertising in between worth of 500 to 2,500 per, per trainee is what I'm trying to look at. And, and I'm in the process of doing that. So this is something, uh, a new initiative guys, which I'm coming up with. So paid advertising at least went for 500 INR. So now this is an, this is an INR Indian rupees. And this is for the Google one, guys. All right. For Google AdWords. So once your website is going to be ready, you will be promoting it across in the SEOs, the organic space. What is organic or what is SEO? I'll definitely be going ahead and showcasing that. Plus also in the paid section. So paid advertising. Uh, this will be taken care by the trainer again. All right, so the entire idea is to not just impart you training in terms of, okay, this is what paid campaigns are. I'm not gonna just go ahead and uh, leave the learning halfway through. What I have found in my previous training is that the, the training uh, is incomplete till the time you do not run the campaigns by paying to Google and get a, get a flavor of it. All right, so that's another thing, guys. Now. One more thing is that all those who are interested, once the you know, course gets over and so over, all those who are interested in uh, pursuing their uh, you know, career into digital marketing, whether you're looking for internships, jobs, or you're trying, trying to look for, or you're, you're looking to be a freelancer, or you're trying to implement these things for your business, whatever the core situation may be. So let's say you are looking for a job, you're looking for an internship, 
Are you looking to be a freelancer? Are you looking to promote your own business? Promote your own business through digital marketing? Or maybe you want to go ahead and uh, open your own business of any kind and implement these. All right. If you have an existing website, existing business, you want to promote it through digital marketing. You want to open your own business and promote it through digital marketing, whatever your objective may be. Or in the end, if you want to go ahead and uh, so freelancer, I have written across. All right, you want to open across your, you want to open your own, let's say, digital marketing agency. Whatever the objective, whatever your objective is going to be, I'm going to have at least one session, which is going to be the last session, guys. My last session is going to be dedicated on that. Now, many people don't really go in and give much more inputs on that. So I'm going to make sure that each one of you gets your all your questions answered over there. Once, you know, we'll keep moving ahead with our training. You need to have your objective clear, whether you're looking for, uh, you know, a job change, you're looking for a change in your career. You want to get into the digital marketing, uh, marketing industry, or whether you're looking for an internship or a trainee, you're looking to be a freelancer person who's going to work on his own or on her own or any of these. So my last session will be dedicated on this where I will be giving you step by step approach on how can you really do this, right? So overall step by step approach is going to be there on this. Now, another thing guys, another bottleneck, which I've seen in many of the training is that, you know, what happens is on Saturdays and Sundays, the training happens and then, uh, if there is a specific, if there's any question uh, which each one of you might have during the entire week, you do not, most of the trainees find it difficult to really raise in their questions and get across an answer to that. So we're going to come up with a forum now. We're coming up with a forum to ask your questions during the uh, you know, weekdays or in short during the, during those time periods when the, when the training is not happening. All right. For to ask your questions during weekdays or days when the training is not happening. What's going to happen in this, with this is that you will get, you'll not have a break in your entire learning. You don't have to really wait for next five days for your question to get answered. So we will come up with, we'll let you know the overall, what's the turnaround time. So we'll share across the, so I floated this for the forum is pretty much going to be uh, ready in another couple of weeks and so forth. And we'll share the link. And in that we'll have a specific turnaround time, which is going to be like almost 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours. But this is on the higher side. We'll try to answer questions in, in a shorter span of time, all right? 24 to 48 hours for turnaround. When I say turnaround in the sense, uh, answering your queries and your questions. Your subject related queries. Your queries, questions, doubts, etc. whatever. All right, now this is some more guys. Now these are some of the expectations which i have uh, listed out over here i i know i'm uh, you guys can say that i'm just trying to burden myself with all of these but uh, that's something which i do want to deliver for sure so digital marketing knowledge is the most basic thing that that goes without saying hands-on experience is one thing which i am a fan of instead of reading out slides i'm more of a person who works on the tools and so forth plus building your career into digital marketing. So that was something which was being said by, uh, by most of you over here, right? And then it's all about certifications. Plus I want to make sure that each one of you become, uh, you know, a, a one man army basically. All right. A one man army who's, who's good enough in himself or herself to work around it. 
all right plus uh, no technical knowledge to be imparted if it's going to be imparted one has to I, i'll make sure that it's been imparted in the most easiest fashion in layman language plus showcasing across live campaigns now this is only going to be done by somebody who's there in the industry who's not just working as a trainer full time but somebody who's there in the industry and uh, and and working around of various different projects so a trainer and a practitioner kind of a person can only showcase that plus live walk throughs of all the tools now when i would when i talk about tools guys there is another thing which i would like to tell you another bottleneck is that the paid tools is another bottleneck there are several tools guys which are available in the industry in the digital marketing industry which uh, one needs to have a good grip on now i have seen in with in my various different trainings that even with the paid tools the trainers uh, at one end tell the trainees to go ahead and buy these tools and then work around it now that again vicious cycle comes in the trainer says okay you go ahead and invest on to that and the trainee says we have already invested in the training why should we spend in more on these paid tools so this is one thing guys the paid tool is uh something which is very essential when you want to build your career when you want to go ahead and uh, do well in this industry so i'm going to ensure that most of the most of the renowned paid tools subscription are either there with me or i'm i'm looking forward to get them right pay to subscription are with me and i am going to give access of these tools for a certain time period to each one of you now uh, i have a limitation too when i say certain time period it would be like for 15 to 30 days all right at least 15 days i'll give it to each one of you for practicing it and getting an overall understanding all right so i'm going to give access of these tools for a for a certain time period and it's going to be 15 days to 30 days kind of thing i'll see if uh, what's going to be the duration like for that all right so paid tools is another one guys i'm just going to highlight all of these things and live walk through is another one showcasing of live campaigns whatever lessons i have learned so far so i'll have a pradeep you got a question you have raised in your uh, hand if you guys have got any question feel free to put that across in the chat window guys so that i can answer it plus uh, it's not just going to be the uh, old thing guys which are going to be taught across i'm going to make sure that uh, all the up updated thing plus we'll let you know the resources resources which are needed to keep up the pace keep up the pace of this dynamic industry what i mean to say is that once let's say the training gets done guys all right let's say you are done with your training in another 2 or 3 months and so forth now what's next after that i'll be letting you know the resources which you have to really uh, refer to on daily basis as a bible of yours or maybe as a quran or as a bhagavad gita with like or maybe as a newspaper whatever you want to call that on daily basis at least you have to spend in like half an hour to one hour and uh, read and watch videos for, i mean depending upon the resources which i'm going to provide you so they're going to be video channels plus they're going to be certain websites once you will read them you will definitely get to understand what uh, what are they talking about majority of the things because you have done the basics over here in the training if you will start reading out the things and start listening to videos now then uh, it's it's very uh, it's it's not going to be it's, it's not going to make much of a sense at this given stage but once you are done with your basics your overall uh, other training you would be in a position to understand what what are these platforms really talking about so what's going to happen with this is you will be staying updated in terms of but the effort has to come in from your side only the 
the time investment has to come in from your side. That's some expectation which the industry needs from you, right? You have to always pay the price for all of these things, right? So these are the various expectations, guys. I don't think I need to uh, say all of these again. So every trainee gets their website for sure. Reviews and feedbacks will be provided to every trainee, not just for the website. Thus, reviews and feedbacks, guys, would be provided for various other things. Now, I can write it down. Reviews and feedbacks for various learnings, whether it's to do with, let's say, a website creation is one of the example. All right. Whether it's uh, doing optimization, I'll be looking at how your how you have gone ahead and optimized your website, whether you have started achieving results doing optimization for your website, uh, performing email marketing campaigns, right? Creating email marketing campaigns and working around them. Whatever, have you achieved your goals? So I'll be giving you certain goals. I'll be asking you to uh, select goals on your own, marketing goals which you want to achieve through your campaigns. Whether it's email marketing campaigns, your Google paid campaigns, all right, creation of your mobile app. So not just your website, but also a creation of your mobile app is another one. Plus will helping you with uh, plus will also giving you reviews and feedbacks on other things like your social media campaigns. All right, when I say social media campaigns, what I mean to say is uh, things like your Facebook ads, your YouTube ads, and so forth, your video campaigns, your video channel. All right, and several other things. So there are quite many things which we understand. Now, the topics which are going to be covered across in this entire course that I believe is there with each one of you, that's been mailed across to everyone, right? If, uh, if in case uh, you guys don't have that, let me know. Do you guys have your entire topics which are going to be covered across in the 100 hours in totality? Can I get to know in the chat window, guys, do you have? All right, guys, do you have the access to a document which has got all the topics which are going to be covered across in the entire course? Can I get to know? Can I? I hope you guys are. All right. All right, so you do have that. Okay. All right, you have that. Thanks, Sanujan. Thanks, Mukul. How about others? And thanks, Satanu. All right, any, uh, how about others? Can I get to know from Pratik, Sovek? I, yes, absolutely, Pratik, yes, I meant, yeah, the PDF, that's correct. <coughs> All right, perfect, thanks, Pratik, thanks, Sovek, thanks, Tanu, thanks, Mukul, thanks, Anuja. Appreciate that. Excuse me. All right, so we'll be working around that. All right, we'll be, going ahead and uh, working on all of those topics which are part of that plus i'll see what what other more things i could really you know give across information and training about we that that'll go with the flow we'll we'll go with the flow and so forth now that's so we started with the introduction i maybe you understood who am i where do i really come from what's my experience like then we did an introduction uh, for each one of you. So you guys got to know each other. It was a great networking. It's a great networking platform also, right? So we covered that part. And then I have made you understand uh, how are we going to be working across in our training? Some of the, some of the expectations I have listed down. Now it's, it's not some now. These are quite massive now, right? Okay. And uh, I've told you about the certifications. Now, website guys would be provided across to each one of you. I'll make sure that uh, each one of you get that across pretty sooner. Now, this is with regards to the expectation. I'll go ahead and uh, share across this document, guys, with each one of you at the end of the session. 
Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the basics. Now, how would we really define across marketing, guys? So we'll, we'll understand digital marketing. We'll understand definitely what website is, what website designing is, what for marketing through internet is. But let me, so my way of for teaching across or training across things, guys, is that I prefer interactive sessions. Now, when I say interactive, definitely uh, it's going to be difficult to unmute you every now and then. So you would have to take that pain of typing across in the chat window, guys, whenever I'm going to be asking across a question. So that's one small pain which you have to always do. This will always let me know, always help me to know that, okay, that people are not going to the sleep. I'm not sounding boring. So I've got a question for each one of you. Well, again, for which I want you to type in across or use across the chat window. How would you define marketing, guys? So I know this is a very basic, basic level question. But uh, still, since we are walking across onto digital marketing, my basic question to each one of you is, how would you define marketing? Anybody who wants to write it across? All right, so, so we say it's, it's all about pulling your customers. Okay. So marketing is about pulling your customers. Thanks. Anyone else? Anyone else who would like to pinpoint or mention across in the chat window, what's your understanding about marketing? So you guys are in the sales and marketing. How would you define what marketing is for you? All right, so Mukul says which uh, marketing is which uh, helps in selling across a sale of your product to customer in terms of brochures, BTL, ATL activities. All right, thanks Mukul. Appreciate it and thanks Sovik. Altanu says it's a platform which is mixed with science, commerce, and art to sell a product to its proper customer. All right, that's good. Yes, and we've got Anuja who says, marketing is more or less utilizing your available resources and promoting your products, services to reach out to your customers. Absolutely, absolutely right. So each one of you have said uh, things in the most correct fashion, guys, and uh, I, I really want to say thanks to each one of you for participating so keep up that level keep keep participating like this well definitely yes marketing is all about uh making sure that you know products are being sold like you said uh and they're being sold across to the end customers the potential customers and so forth now if i'll go ahead and rephrase all of these what you guys have mentioned that it's a science it's a commerce it's an art yes marketing is definitely an art and science both now, many different marketers have got their own different definitions. Uh, Sir Philip Kotler, who's the, most, who's the most renowned marketing guru, he has got its own definition. Sir Peter Drucker has got its own definition. It's not quite a many, but I'm, I'm not going to get into all of those. What I'm going to talk about is what marketing is in plain, simple language. Now, marketing is one of the departments, one of the various departments every organization has got now what are organizations are all about organizations are there for the purpose of uh, achieving certain goals whether it's to do with achieving profits or there can be certain non-profit making organizations also where the objective is something different but in my cases in my examples i'm going to be just focusing on the not profit making companies only guys uh reason being Whatever we are learning over here, that's applied in more in the profit making. Even in non-profit making companies, ad advertising, digital marketing and advertising is done for sure. But to make things simpler, we'll talk about more profit making companies. Now in every profit making company or an organization, there are several departments, whether it's a finance department, human resource department, 
operations department so forth and similarly there is a marketing department and the marketing department is responsible for making sure that the product and the service which the organization is building upon is trading upon its manufacturing upon whatever it may be and and providing it across to a certain section of people who are called their potential customers it's a marketing team or the marketing department's responsibility that the overall good points unique points the key core strength area of your product and services are being first of all communicated to the potential customers right it's a job it's a responsibility of the marketing team to make sure that whatever product and service your company or your organization is producing creating or trading whatever it may be it goes it gets uh, communicated to the potential audience only with the help of right platform being chosen now what platform has to be chosen when is that platform is to be uh, utilized what date what time at what frequency how much money needs to be put in across in what particular marketing channel or communication channel these are the roles of the marketing department people right now from one side definitely marketing is is uh, responsible for understanding the psyche of the end customers understanding what are their pain areas what are their overall points which they they try to call it across as the valuable points so what 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 is it that the end customers are looking for and what are the value points which they are seeking in for right so all of those value points all of those pain areas to be resolved across on the basis of all that the marketers are responsible for making sure are responsible for imparting the value the message about the product and service which does does need to have the value points which the end customer is going to get right if the valuable points if the points which do not talk about the value they will get no customer is going to get attracted and is going to take a action after receiving the message right how the message is going to be crafted and created how the message is going to be imparted across to the end customers what do the end potential customers really do all right in the offline and the online space both so as of now we are just not concentrating we are not concentrating on the online we are concentrating on overall right so people do uh, consume in content in several spaces whether it's on a television or whether it's on radio whether it's outdoor media whether it's in events and so forth like you guys mentioned atl and btl activities both plus over the internet also now there are several places where the content gets consumed it's the marketer's responsibility to understand the overall media consumption pattern of the potential audience and on the basis of the media consumption pattern the right set of media channels have to be utilized or you know decided across now with that being said marketing is pure art and science which the set of people are going to uh set of people as in the marketers are going to be applying in to make sure that there is value being delivered to the end customers plus there is profit being made for the organization one bottom line if marketing team is not able to deliver profit to the organization with the help of the marketing budget they have got they have got no business to be there because they are the ones who are absolutely responsible for making sure that there is return on the marketing investment being done so each one of you are there in the sales and marketing team we guys are responsible for delivering you know a positive roi we guys are responsible for uh, making sure that there is a specific target being achieved that purely happens for the sales team but also for the marketing team we got the targets in terms of uh, you know a certain percentage of return to be achieved and so forth right i know this is a pretty long explanation but uh, it was in the most easiest in the layman language which i could use uh, without any technical jargon or any any difficult word and so forth now 
I've got something more, I believe this is from Pratik who says, understanding our customer needs, creating a need in consumer's mind for a product that a company wants to sell as for the targeted audience. Absolutely. Yes. It's about uh, identifying the customer need and shaping up your product according to that and, and also ensuring that the, your product gets sold across to your target audience in the most effective and efficient manner. And also in the end, making sure that you're promoting the product through offline and the online mode both. Absolutely. Well, deciding upon offline and online mode really is the biggest thing, guys, uh, which, which many of the companies do try to evaluate which one should they use, which one should they use the most and so forth. And that's the reason, guys, which, uh, which each one of you are over here. You guys must have seen that offline is something which might really, really get drilled down at a later stage. And it is still uh, feeling the heat, feeling the pinch, you know, and online is something which is getting the maximum share of the marketing budget. Is it true in your, in your overall uh, works, uh, working profiles on in your overall jobs, guys, you, have you seen that uh, offline has really, uh, is this not getting that importance as compared to what online is? I mean, have you seen that happening or do you see uh, such kind of thing going to happen in the near future that it's going to be more online as compared to offline will never die for sure. But do you, do you see that there's a shift or in your overall, uh, it is yes. And there are several reasons for it. If we talk about now, let me ask each one of you only with this. Thanks to Danu Pratik and Mukul uh, for acknowledging. Since you guys have seen that offline is somehow not gaining that importance or is not uh, getting that much of an importance, yeah, de with demonetization also, right? When in India with demonetization, this is one of the biggest change which we have seen that digital has really got the major benefit. Advertisers and marketers and businesses are more concentrating towards uh, spending less on the marketing. And when you have got lesser spending, uh, you try to look for cheaper marketing resources and the most effective and the efficient one. Now, with, that, with all that being said, how would you now really say, uh, how would you really uh, pinpoint the advantages of online over offline guys. Now we have spoken about marketing in total, the marketing has not done with the help of offline and online both. All right. It's done with offline and online channels both. Now, since you guys are working in the sales and marketing, most of you, how would you, uh, or pinpoint the advantages. What are the advantages which you will say are there with online or with internet marketing, which are which is not there with the offline marketing? Any advantages which you want to pinpoint? All right, Satanu says, uh, all right, so we say it's more convenient plus more options, yes. And Satanu says online helps you to reach to, the talk, to your audience in faster and much wider way. Absolutely. I would add on one more thing. With online, not just the wider way, but also if I want to pinpoint on a specific set of audience, very precise audience, very niche audience, Online helps me do that pretty easily. Let's say if I've got a local business and I have, uh, I want to target on the people who are residing across in a specific locality. Uh, online, the internet medium, it works around the best. So in terms of laser focused targeting, in terms of laser focused targeting also. So if I'll, if we'll talk about, so we first of all understood definition of marketing what exactly it is now if we talk about the advantages of digital marketing over the other over the other form of marketing first is definitely the reach 
we can reach out to as much wider audience as we want to this is one all right plus we can have a laser focused approach also laser focused targeting if i want to go ahead and target on the people with certain interest with certain uh, demographics i can do that we'll see that as we'll move further guys anuja says it's easier it's easy to reach to your customers and you can specify your target customers in online marketing in a better way absolutely which is all about targeting only which which we did mention just now that's great thanks anuja and pratik says in online mode consumers can shop sitting at their homes etc also everyone has very busy daily life so consumers don't have to go to the market but they can shop online and can have a look at look of different variety of products so can compare the prices absolutely so what are you saying basically how digital is helpful over here how digital has scores uh, on top of the offline over here is that the penetration so this is more about the penetration or the usage penetration of internet is uh, increasing right internet is getting used across by people in various different parts of the world so that's the penetration and the other part which the other point which you have pratik spoken over here is the convenience so people are finding it much more convenient to do several things on the internet rather than doing it in the offline so as a result the usage of the consumption of online media is more as compared to offline so this is more it with so the convenience point is actually from the customer's point of view but if i try to ask you advantages of digital marketing over the offline marketing we will try to answer this as a marketer so for as a marketer i do have ability to reach out to more more as wider audience as i want to i can even reach out to a lesser uh, precise precise audience also less which which is laser focusing laser focused targeting i can say precise targeting in this case penet so precise targeting is the other word which i would say in this case the penetration of internet is uh, way too wider in certain uh, places we you know there was a con conception the there was a i mean people used to say this earlier that you know internet is not that uh, it's not available across in several places but the penetration the growth at which you know the internet is penetrating across into various different suburb areas also it's very too massive so growth of penetration of internet is something which is helping digital marketers uh, to really select digital marketing over offline plus the consumption in overall consumption of digital channels which you've just mentioned pratik consumption of digital channels scores more than the offline channels the offline channels as in like tv and so forth and radio this has been seen the amount of consumption which people generally have with the online that has increased and it has been taken away it has taken across the consumption which people used to have for the offline mode so the amount of time let's say which each one of you would have spent across on television let's say 10 years or 15 years back that would have gone down and that might have got shifted towards the online now these are some basic level of advantages now the other advantages which i can pinpoint is that from a marketer's perspective is that this is more uh i would say more cost effective all right or in other words it's uh roi driven right return on investment driven so it helps you to get across much more return precisely all right the other thing is uh it's easily digital marketing is measurable measurable precisely precise numbers could be there we can with digital marketing can get to know how how much uh, has been the overall performance of a specific of a specific campaign and so forth all right so measurability part is something which is uh where where digital actually scores on the top of offline 
you do have analytics there are certain analytics tools which i'm going to be showcasing you as we'll move further with the help of which so google has got its own analytics tool and so forth with the help of which we can measure as minute level detail as we can things like how many people came onto my website what exactly they did on my website how much time did they spend from which all places did they came in how many of them actually uh, went ahead and purchased a product from my website how many of them did not purchase which all customers purchased a product for the second time for the third time on my website and so forth that part is not there with offline offline is measurable to a certain extent the measurability part with digital with digital uh, marketing or digital uh, world altogether is very precise so it's roi driven more cost effective more effective and efficient all of these things are there if there is any other thing guys which you can think of later on you can let me know i can punch that across in the in this particular piece of document all right so it's more cost effective roi driven more measurable you can reach out to as much wider audience as you can plus uh, if you want to go ahead and do a laser focused targeting approach all right that can that is also possible plus uh, now this the uh, point number d that's more to do with uh, the penetration from the convenience point of view right from from the customer's point of view now it's good that we have understood the basics we have understood what do we mean by marketing what do we mean by uh, digital marketing anything anything which is marketed across over the internet that's purely digital marketing there are several things which are done across on the internet which we'll talk about for sure uh, we can go for a break guys we can go for a 10 15 minutes break or smaller shorter break and then uh, we'll uh, resume after that right so i'm going to go ahead and put myself on to mute let me know if you guys have any questions before i uh, before we jump on to the break are you guys doing good if you have a question put in across your mention across a question in the chat window or do type in that you are good so that i can get a at least a confirmation from your side all right thanks sovik for letting me know that you're good anuja thanks anu atanu good mukul says good pratik says good all right thanks guys so we'll have a uh, do you want a short break or do you want a, a 20 25 minutes a bigger break this time how shall we do it shall we have a just a 10 15 minutes break or short break all right so let's have a short break this time and after the break we'll take it further all right so i'm going to put myself on to mute and we'll meet after the break guys thanks
All right, so let's move ahead, guys, with uh, after the break. Just trying to check if you guys can hear me. All right, perfect. So we have been talking about, thanks, Pratik, for acknowledging. I believe others can also hear me, right? So the last thing which we did understood was about the marketing, how do we define marketing, how do we define digital marketing, how do we define uh, the advantages, right, of digital over the offline thing, right? Now, the next thing is uh, the various different channels which are there onto digital. I hope others are also able to hear me, right? So guys, I would need a confirmation. Is it only Pratik who can hear me? Can you guys hear me? All right, thanks, Sovika Tanu and Mukul. Now, the next thing, guys, is what I'm going to ask you. Now, again, these are basic things. As an internet user, now you try to put yourself uh, into, a no into the shoes of a normal internet user only. You guys are all already normal internet users. So uh, don't think that, uh, I mean, don't, don't get your profession over here. Don't think of yourself as a sales and a marketing professional, just normal user of an internet. I have a question for each one of you. Is that what all different things do you do over the internet? So what all different things do you do over the internet? I mean, do you use search engines? Do you use social media? Do you use emails? Do you use, what all things do you use? What all stuff do you do over the internet? Now, there's a reason for asking this because we'll be getting to know. All right. So when you say everything, uh, can you list it out in order? What are those uh, channels where you spend in your more time? So the one who says uh, checking emails, uh, going on to social media websites. So it says from Facebook, YouTube, which is social media only. So it's only Facebook and YouTube and also email, online shopping, all right? So if the next thing is, which I'm gonna ask, which I'm, which we're trying to understand, day-to-day -day internet usage. So what I'm trying to understand over here are the various different digital, various different channels in the internet industry, various channels on the internet. Now out of all those channels, which all do really help the marketers. So this is basically uh, the channels which I'm trying to gauge across from you that what all things which you do over the internet. So use, you said that you use across Facebook, Maybe that's the, that's the number one thing where you spend in your maximum time. You are there on YouTube. You use across YouTube in your daily internet usage. Last, you do online shopping, you did mention. So you're there on to shopping websites. All right. Plus you use across uh, emailers. All right. Emails is another thing. Fifth one, which I can see over here is LinkedIn. Anything else, guys, that you use across? Anything else which you do over the internet? Other than Facebook, YouTube, going on to online shopping sites, emails, checking emails and so forth, news websites, so you go ahead and uh, watch news and read news. All right. Do you listen to songs? Do you watch movies? Do you go to search engines and search for something? Uh, what else? All right, Pratik says getting updates regarding what's happening in the world. Live streams. All right. So which is almost like uh, news itself only searching for songs and movies. Anything else, guys? Anything else which can, all right, so searching for hotels and places. All right, that's great. So searching for hotels, places to visit and so forth. All right, which, which is another thing, what else?
what else can you think of online reservations absolutely what else which comes underneath this part only online education all right all right nobody uh, said searching over the search engines i mean uh, performing certain performing certain searches over google or bing and so forth yes of course all right so online reservations or online education you guys did mention plus you did mention which is an of course thing which is usage of search engines all right you're there on search engines now these are the major things guys which we as internet users actually go on to now my another thing is my other another question guys is whenever it comes down to purchasing something in our day to day life whenever you know if i purchase something related to uh, you know my basic needs whether it's let's say grocery my food items and so forth or whether it's to do with some something more than my basic thing like like uh, maybe a mobile phone maybe a laptop gadgets maybe my consumer durables and so forth whenever we are making a decision each one of us you know i am assuming are consumer of all of these things which i mentioned you know the basic and some of the uh, more than the basic stuff there could be other things also whenever we are making decision in terms of buying them how do we really make a decision and where does these platforms will actually play a role we are trying to understand this so at this point of time i i am not asking you to think like a marketer at all i am trying to i'm i'm making you think like a normal internet user and as a normal internet user only you guys have given me the answer to my question that what all platforms do you uh, go to on the internet on day to day basis you did mention you go to youtube facebook linkedin email watching news online shopping online reservations online education you go ahead and search and search over the search engines now my another question guys is in your day to day life right in your day to day life whenever you need whenever you have a need for a product whenever you have a need for any kind of product which could be maybe let's say example maybe it could be grocery related stuff or maybe it could be products related to electronics and gadgets all right or i'm just giving examples guys or it could be let's say related to your uh, you know your clothing uh, needs you know you want to buy across of new clothes or you got needs for let's say some consumer durables and so forth and etc whenever you have to make a cross decision in terms of buying these what is your overall process now in your day to day life how do you really decide that which particular phone brand let's let's take an example let's drill down to a particular one let's take an example of of a mobile phone you want to buy across a new mobile phone a mobile phone for yourself what is the process which you guys really do i mean do, now I, i i'll help you out my question is my question is what's your what's your decision making process what's your buying process basically decision making or your buying process you know how would you really get to know how would you really decide that which particular mobile phone you're going to be buying across so would you go ahead and uh, ask your ask people around you which phone do they have or would you really go ahead and ask your friends families colleagues what is that which you will do so it says search online compare ask people then buy it offline all right so that's your way and everybody will have their own way so i've got one of the example one of the answers that you will go ahead and do search online all right so when you will search online 
this is i mean this is one of the thing you will search online search i believe this is using search engines only am i correct uh, so if you would be doing this using search engines this online search which you mentioned all right definitely perfect and then you say when well, you're doing going to go ahead and compare now this compare thing i would think you would do it online and offline both right you can do the comparison online and offline both you said you're going to ask people ask people around you now these i mean i say ask people around you could be your colleagues your friends your family etc right and then you said you're going to buy it offline that's going to be your approach the other one is uh, tanu says ask friends colleagues look, looking for an ad in newspaper all right so another one is ad in newspaper is another thing all right then check the things online and then check the things online and atanu when you check online on which all platform precisely would you check on online what would be your approach what is your approach which you really take when you go online after you have done all those things in the offline world anuja says is asking friends family search online and compare the functionalities all right so i'm getting across similar examples when uh, similar answers which is absolutely i can see this is something which is common amongst most of us that you know we ask people we ask friends families and colleagues and so forth people who are around us right we do search over the internet and when we do search over the internet it's major it's majorly the search engines right and i thought so i just type the brand name and model number in google which is search engine only you type that across and then compare the same type all right so i've got a uh, i've got a statement here from atanu saying i'm pasting that across straight away all right so i've got one one of this that i just type the brand name and model number so this is the way you know you go ahead and do it you you're doing it over the online all right pradeek says read the reviews on internet all right so that's another great one so this is another way of you as a consumer are actually so you know what what i have done over here why i am asking all these basic level questions is guys just to understand what has what exactly is happening in the internet world and how is this actually helping the marketers now this is from one side guys this is one the first thing which we understood was that what all different platforms we use across on the internet now irrespective of the fact that we whether we are in a stage of buying a product or not buying a, of a product all right so this was irrespective of any stage whether we need any product or service or not all right but then i drill down further when we un- when we map across all of these then i gave you an a uh, situation that in your day to day life when you have a need for a any specific kind of a product whether it's grocery electronics gadgets clothing consumer durables more or less your approach is going to be similar so that's why i took an example of one particular product which is a mobile phone all right now in this mobile phone example i asked you what is going to be your approach in terms of making a decision making a decision which is what is your, what is going to be your decision making process all right your buying process you gave me answers like you're going to search over the so you you you'll do a search over uh, on the internet with the help of search engines like google and so forth most of you have mentioned google only none of you mentioned bing so you know you know these things which i'm letting you know have got have got a meaning around it plus you're going to go ahead and uh, do various comparisons on the in the internet world and also in the outside of the internet world offline world right you last people around you colleagues friends families etc plus you got you look and to look into the ads then some of you did mention that you will type the brand and model now this is very specific to what you will do on the over the search engines also right over the search engines what you will do plus uh, some of you did mention that you will also read the reviews on internet now pradeek i have got a question for you when you said that you're going to read out the reviews how would you really get to uh, see the reviews 
I mean, will you first of all go ahead and um, use the search engine for finding out the reviews or how will you find out the reviews on the internet? My next question to you is, if you want, if you are, uh, I mean, as a consumer, when you're making a decision, you're looking at the reviews. How do you land to the place or the website where reviews are going to be there? Do you know the name of the websites or it's going to be search engine? All right. You did mention that. So Sovik says it's through search engine. All right. Thanks. And uh, anyone else who would like to answer this? How would you really get to the websites which have got the reviews? I mean, there are two things. Either you know the names of the websites or you do not know and you will go ahead and search for it. All right. So Mukul says, uh, we see on particular websites like Amazon. So you know the name of the websites basically. And some of you do mention that uh, you do not know, then you will go, you'll go ahead and search it over the search engines. Pratik says, uh, what I'll do, I'll type the brand which I want to purchase when I enter. But where will you type the name, brand? So that's what my question is, Pratik. On Amazon and Flipkart. All right. So, and Mukul says on Go Ibibo. All right. So that's for the travel industry. And Atanu says, sometimes we know the name, but mostly through the search engine. So, here we have multiple answers over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know, capture all of these over here. Give me a second. So I'm going to place it right over here. The way you're going to do it is the answer to this question, which I have got is this. All right. Through search engines, we get variety of websites. Now that's another one. Now, more or less, there are two different form of uh, answers which I have received to this another question of mine that how did you land to the place of the website where reviews are there? You answer that either it's going to be through the search engines or you'll type in across the brand name. You'll type in across the brand name on certain websites you are aware of, which are the online shopping sites like Amazon Flipkart. Some of you would type in across the brand names in the search in itself. Now, they, what you, what I'm trying to make you understand over here that the ways, the ways of making a decision over the internet guys, first of all, are very limited, right? The way which is limited is that you are using uh, search engines. Most of the, most of you are using search engine for doing your overall comparison. Offline world is absolutely coming into the existence for some of you and for some of you, for some of you not. Right. But if we talk about precisely uh, only about online as of now, it's happening through the search engines the most. And let's say I, I tell you that uh, you you have gone on to one of the review sites. You must have seen this. You have gone on to one of the review sites and you've been told about a certain brand over there. And, uh, you know, the reviews are there. But do you get to see my another question now? Because I've got a series of questions for each one of you. When, let's say, during this entire process, when you have landed on to some of the review sites, do you get to see, one second, do you get to see banner ad, or you can say an image ad, or maybe a video ad, of a related product. Now this would be of any brand. So related product, in our case, it's a mobile phone only. In our case, it's a mobile phone only, right? So have you ever experienced this? That when you have landed onto, this happens on Facebook though, all right? So I've got an answer that you, you have seen it on Facebook happening. And uh, so it says this depends on the website, but let's say, well, you are there on different kind of websites. Adhanu says image ad first, maybe video ad too. All right, so we've got different answers over here and I really appreciate that. So all in all, I've got mixed responses that yes or a no depends upon the website. And I've got an answer that yes, on Facebook though it happens, I've got an answer that yes, we are, sometimes I do get to see image ad and sometimes video also. Now what's happening guys over here, you guys are, potential customers for certain 
mobile phone brands you guys are actually in a stage where you have got a need for a mobile phone and you are being targeted you're being targeted across by the mobile phone brands not just in one place guys which is facebook which you did just did mention or maybe on certain websites like pratik you did mention depends upon which website or atanu says uh, image ad first and so forth not just only on those but also these marketers these brands are trying to catch hold of your attention onto search engines also do you guys realize that when you are there in the stage of making a decision of which particular brand which particular product to buy across right a mobile phone to buy across when you are in that stage the question is now the next question is you have already answered one of the question that you are getting targeted by various different brands through image ads through banner ads through video ads on facebook and also on certain different websites but my question is this time do you think they are also targeting you they are trying to catch hold of your attention even on on to search engines guys that's my another question mukul says yes i am experienced on when i visited amazon and i selected that product but not check out from the amazon after some time image is there on another website and that's called remarketing absolutely mukul we will we'll understand that so if you go ahead and check a specific product and you do not buy that you which other website you will go to you will get to see that particular products banner ad on various other website now my next question next follow up question is so once we understood first of all with your previous answers you answered and you accepted right i believe you you will agree to what i am saying right now you accepted that you do get to see image ad banner ad right video ad now these are mixed answers guys which i am writing across not uh, experience of one person is going to be similar to the experience which the other person will have right now you did mention either on certain websites or either on uh, image ad banner ad video ad right on uh, either on facebook on other websites or somebody did mention depends on what websites we are on right you did mention that also and you also mentioned one of you mentioned that example of amazon also another example is example of amazon was being given and the example of, of amazon is precisely that's called remarketing now remarketing is something which mukul has actually explained in his language that if i went to amazon and i you know looked at a particular product and that product was let's say not being purchased by me i have checked that product but i have not purchased it now whichever other third party website i go to i get to see that specific mobile phone which i checked and did not buy on other websites right this is purely remarketing we'll understand this now my another question guys is you have accepted that you are being targeted you have accepted that you do get to see in other words you have been targeted you you you're actually getting targeted across by marketers of certain brands of certain mobile brands now do you think my question is you are also do you think that mobile phone brands are also targeting you when we say targeting you the definition of targeting you is that they are they are showcasing their they are showcasing their brand in front of you in front of your eyes when you are on a hunt for a mobile phone for yourself whichever brand mobile phone for yourself you so when you accept it first of all so do you think mobile phone brands are also targeting you through search engines now the definition of targeting i mentioned over here what do we mean by targeting so they are showcasing their brand in front of your eyes 
when you are on a hunt for mobile phones so they have already you have accepted that they are targeting you through the other means which is on to facebook which is social media marketing is getting done by them they are doing display banner ads they are doing they are running video ads my other question is do you think they are also targeting you they are trying to showcase their product at the first instance also when you are making a search on to search engine you guys did mention that you know in your decision making stage initially you did mention that your decision making process when it's happening you're looking at newspapers you're asking your colleagues and families you're doing comparison and that comparison thing you start with by searching over the search engines when you were doing your search on the search engines when you guys did mention this my question is do you realize or do you uh, think that you have been somehow been targeted targeted in the sense that advertisers and marketers are actually getting hold of your attention marketers are trying to catch hold of your attentions all right so so it says that so sovik says yes not only the phones but any product that we look for on the internet all right that's a great answer yes in our example we have taken just uh, uh, mobile phones but that's a great answer that it's not only for mobile phones it's for everyone every particular one and atul says yes i think so anyway how about uh, others how would you what do you think do you do you think you've been targeted as a potential customer now you are a potential customer guys you are a potential customer for mobile phone brands you understood this part that mobile phone is something which is you are looking for you are hunting for you are in a need for a mobile phone and you are actually on the internet you're using internet channels and one of the internet channel which you are using is search engine plus you are there on to other websites also other channels of internet which is the review sites and so forth now my question was are you seeing various different brands showcasing their image ads banner ads so image ads and banner ads is absolutely an example of uh, you know you as a potential customer getting targeted by these brands so you answered that yes now the other thing is when i asked you do you think you are being targeted through search engines you did mention that yes not only through phones but also for other products anuja said yes on search engines i suppose it's paid ads and the organic search absolutely anuja and we'll understand that and pradeep says uh, yes while searching we see various mobile companies targeting us and showcasing their products which we can see in different websites while searching mobiles many times we can see banner image ads videos also on the websites yes that part we have covered I mean, that's something which you guys have uh, agreed upon that yes that happens right now the other thing is uh with regards to the answer to the question related to search engines you guys also accepted that yes that happens all right now there is a flow which i have uh my questions are actually in a series in a flow i started with the basic stuff i gave you a example i gave you a situation sorry i gave you a situation that first of all we started with what all you do on the internet what all platforms you answered that then my next question was again uh, was in a series in a series right then i asked you that uh, i asked you a question which is related to a specific scenario that you are looking for a for buying across a specific product you look for various products on the search engine on the Uh, on in your day to day life and one of the product which you're looking for is a mobile phone when you're looking for mobile phone what will you do you said that we'll do all i'll do all these things and one of the biggest element which you uh biggest element is there with the search engines only talking about search engines with search engines what you're doing uh, you are and and uh, along with search engines also the review sites and so forth where you did accept that video ads image ads you do get to see and my next question was that where uh, when you have landed on to some or right, sorry my next question was this one that how did you land on to the websites and that was through search engines and my next question was did you realize that you are being targeted across through search engines so do you think that the mobile phone uh, mobile phone brands are also targeting targeting through search engines and you did mention this yes now that is absolutely true guys 
you guys have understood both sides of the equation as a normal user as a potential customer and as a marketer what all things are there now coming back to the very first and the foremost thing guys when i explained that these are the various things which you do over the search engine you guys didn't mention i'll go ahead and uh, i'll go ahead and uh, classify all of these in one in in certain broader broader terms guys the broader terms are social media is one thing which i'll uh, talk about now all of these platforms facebook youtube online shopping sites emails linkedin watching news songs movies and so forth and all of these platforms where people are there they are they are uh, they are fulfilling their overall needs you know i'm i have a need for reserving across something or for doing educating myself over the internet or i'm using search engine for whatever different purpose i'm using shopping websites to shop for whenever i'm doing all of these things my overall browsing history i mean i've been on to various different websites as a consumer i'm talking about each one of us for each one of us when we are there on the internet depending upon my browsing depending on our browsing history depending upon the interest you know we had certain various different websites which we have looked at and also our profile which google knows on all of that the advertisers and the marketers are able to target us and they are able to target us on all the platforms all the various platforms which are there on the internet which which we have spoken over here i would say in none of these places you would have seen that there is uh, that it's advertisement free you would hardly see any platform which doesn't have any advertisement on the internet either it's facebook youtube email linkedin any news websites any songs websites any hotel related website any reservation related website even on search and so forth on all these platforms you do see marketers are there advertisers are there and showcasing their marketing um, their their advertisement and so forth whether it's paid or unpaid what is the difference in paid and unpaid i'll talk about that later on but what you can really understand now as a marketer now try to put yourself as a marketer now this is a good thing about internet guys that all the channels which are there in the internet space they give the ability to the advertisers and marketers to go ahead and showcase their product and services either in an advertisement format or in a non advertisement format also but that's also pure marketing we'll understand the non advertisement platform also but that's part of marketing right so we'll understand that part but in short every platform gives opportunity all these platforms we have seen right all these channels or platforms whatever you want to call that gives opportunities to marketers and advertisers to achieve their marketing goals and objectives now i'll talk about i'll have a different question guys again what do you think a particular marketer's goal and objective is at the end of the day what sort of different marketing goals and objectives would be so let's say you know you are doing your same you are in the same situation that you are hunting for a product you are hunting for a mobile phone and all of a sudden you are getting to see you know advertisements from various different mobile phone or you are getting even reviews uh, you you getting to see reviews uh, from various different brands pertaining to different various different brands now i'm taking an example of let's say one of them which is let's say apple now if apple is coming in front of you the marketer of apple is creating those advertisements and uh, marketing messages and showcasing it to a person like you who's in a dire need of a you know a phone for himself or herself now what is their objective pratik says it's the objective of that marketer is to sell the right product to the right customer oh yes absolutely right example of a marketing object now the exam there could be various different various different objectives it could be brand awareness it could be capturing leads it could be form fill ups it could be getting more subscribers it could be 
uh, you know, making your end customers purchase your product. It could be making uh, your viewers go ahead and give you a phone call or the uh, marketing objective could also be getting across more views for your videos or more hits across onto your website. Now, these are various different marketing goals, guys. All right. And these marketing goals at the end of the day, they're very much connected with your business goals, right? I hope the difference between marketing goals and business goals is clear, guys. I'm going to read out the chat. Pratik says to sell the right product to the right customer is one of them, right? And uh, Mukul says, achieve my targets and get revenue for the company. Absolutely. Now, Mukul, what you are saying is more of a business goal, right? Which is achieving revenue uh, and so forth. The marketer's goal is precisely, first of all, is to definitely uh, get across more eyeballs and more sales and so forth. At the end of the day, they are all related to each other. They're all connected. That's right. And Anuja says the idea is the objective would be to reach out to your customers and enhance their engagement. Now, this is another one. Absolutely. First is to reach out to your potential customers and then to get more engagement with your product and services. You want them to speak more about you about your product and services, that could be another objective. Atanu says to sale the product with optimum profits. Absolutely, and Pratik says product and company promotion across the world. Absolutely, now it depends upon what sort of a product, what sort of a geographical uh, you know, bandwidth you've got. Certain businesses only want to sell out in a local space. Certain people want to sell out in a specific country level, and certain organizations want to sell across at a uh, much more wider level. Pradeek says creating brand awareness, making their company and their products familiar to the consumer's mind. Absolutely. Absolutely. So here are various different uh, examples to it. You guys have mentioned this. All right, so I'm, I'm taking snapshots, guys, from your chats itself. That will always help you to understand things much more better. All right. Now, you guys have been saying this all well. Now, I want to, re, uh, I want to restructure these channels, first of all, guys. All right, Zanus says, uh, Mukul, please change the setup from all panelists to everyone. Oh, yes, absolutely. Now, the other thing, guys, is when I want to group across all of these channels which you guys have mentioned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the very first and the foremost one is social media. All right, now that was just a laundry list which you guys were ta talking about that time. So I took that across and mentioned it right over here. So YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, all right, all of these which I did mention are going to come up over here. So I'm going to remove LinkedIn now. I'm going to remove YouTube now. So they all, and there could be many other. So underneath social media, you have many things, guys, which we learn for sure. So we learn as a marketer, how do we really make effective use of these channels? What are these channels all about? Instagram also, there, there are plenty of them, right? G plus, G plus has died. Uh, I mean, it, it, is, it isn't used much, but yes, definitely we can mention that. It's, it's almost half and half Instagram, G plus and plenty of others. Absolutely, etc. So social media is one, guys. Now the other major, in terms of, uh, I would say, uh, channelizing or... Uh, putting them across into major headings, I would say online shopping, online education, online reservations, songs and movies, searching for hotels and places. I'm going to club all of these, all of these guys and online shopping also as third party websites. Now marketers actually, uh, you know, club together all of these different websites, which are neither owned by the marketer nor by a specific, uh, marketing platform company like Google and so forth. So Google is one place where is Google is one different one, one particular platform, which provides a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, resources, a lot of, uh, 
places where you can go ahead and promote across your product. So anything which is not either owned by Google or any other advertising uh, platform, or it's not owned by the marketer, but it's owned by someone else, then we call it across as a third party website. So online shopping, news websites, songs and movies, uh, travel websites where reservations are being done, education websites where online education is there. I'm clubbing all of them together in one broader category, guys, and that's called third party websites. All right. Third party sites, they are also, uh, there's some concept called Google Display Network, which I'll talk about. There, there's another name which is given to it. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to name it right now so that it doesn't really get confused. So these are third party sites which I am clumming it together as either it's a songs website, a website related to movies, website related to education, website related to news, website related to travel, reservations and so forth. All right. So you get to see various different ads on them. So this is the second broader categorization guys. Now the third is emails onto emails. What sort of an advertisement do you already get to see guys? Now that's my another question on emailers. What sort of a marketing messages do you receive as an internet user? As an internet user, what sort of a different product? So it says, all right. Anyone else who would like to mention that this is this has been your experience? All type of ads are there in the email. Uh, Atunu says, Anuja says, promotional emailers for different products and services. So it says, sometimes that, sometimes things that we might have searched over the net. Absolutely right. Now it's majorly in the form of promotional mailers, and it could be related to what we have searched on the internet, which is on our past browsing history, or sometimes it's. Uh, not even related to whatever we have searched for and so forth. Right. With that being said, we, okay. We will understand this email part guys also in detail. So email marketing is the other broader one, broader category. And the fourth major broader category guys is search engines. Now search engine marketing is the other one. So social media marketing. So this is what we're going to be learning across social media. One second. Right. Social media, third party sites, which is in other words, it's also for display advertising guys. All right. So you do display advertising on all these different websites. Then you do email marketing, search engine marketing, any other channel guys, which do you think you're missing out on any other place, which you do, uh, now think yourself as a internet user only guys. Don't think it from the perspective of uh, a marketer. All right, here you go. Absolutely. Yes apps. Now, what are these things guys apps and what do you do on that? Now what's, well, you do several things. I think this is a very basic level question. I shouldn't ask this. Now, this is pretty much clear that the other platform, the other channel in the digital space, other than all of these, where you do spend in time as an internet user is the mobile apps, right? Sometimes. All right. So the mobile apps is one platform and do you get to see advertisements on mobile phones on mobile apps also guys, right? On mobile apps, you do get to see advertising and marketing over there also. So mobile app, or you can say mobile marketing is the other name, which I'm giving it right. Mobile marketing and we'll see how that's being done with the help of apps and so forth. Search engine marketing. Now search engine marketing guys is further divided into two major form of uh, time. I'm streaming it further guys. I'm, I'm dissecting this further. 
there is paid form of search engine marketing which we'll understand in in our entire training paid search engine marketing and the unpaid form of or it's okay i think you have raised your hand if you have any question you can type that across so unpaid search engine marketing we'll understand that and the unpaid search engine marketing guys has got a different name which is called seo or also search engine optimization is paid marketing and seo the same no so basically people actually go ahead and uh, try to uh, i would say confuse this terminology that paid marketing paid marketing through search engine is only only called search engine marketing even unpaid marketing on search engine is also called search engine marketing search engine marketing is a broader term and any anything which is promoted across onto search engine anything any through any way any soft of a promotion onto search engine is called search engine marketing whether it's paid or unpaid both search engine marketing is paid and unpaid both and that's what we'll understand the unpaid one is called search engine optimization i'll give more information related to this all right so all third party website ads are paid yes absolutely display advertising and this is absolutely paid ads only so these all are paid ads so over here there is no such thing as unpaid in this section whereas with social media we'll understand how to leverage these as a marketer from social media perspective i'm talking about now how to leverage social media sites or how to use them across social media sites as a marketer in unpaid fashion we'll we'll work on that part also plus we'll understand the paid form of social media marketing also whereas with the third party sites uh, on third party sites the display advertising that's all together paid there is no nothing as unpaid over here all right whereas with social media we do have the unpaid part and we do have the paid part both with social media we do have the paid and the unpaid part both with the display advertising we just have the paid ads whereas with the email marketing guys it's only the paid part when i say paid part it's all about you pay paid email marketing it's done in the way that you are to pay for the technology all right you have to pay for the technology which will help you to send out emails but you don't have to really pay to uh, people like facebook youtube or google and so forth in other sections you do pay across to them but in email marketing you just pay for the technology which you will use to send email campaigns all right things will absolutely get much more clear guys as we'll uh, take all of these in much more deeper level today it's the first session so uh, i know there could be many things which might um, which uh, might be half understood or might really take some time to understand further there can be certain gaps but as we keep moving further things will get much more clear guys so what we have understood over here social media third party sites which is the display advertising then email marketing then search engine marketing and the search engine is paid and the unpaid part both all right and then we have mobile app marketing over here we'll understood understand how the paid ads how the mobile apps are being created plus the paid one the paid ads are being created so we'll understand the paid and the unpaid it's basically the un paid part only paid paid ads on mobile marketing on mobile apps we will definitely understand how apps are being created and how websites are being created guys but this is purely from the digital marketing perspective this is purely from the digital marketing perspective 
what all things other than other than website making other than website making and mobile app making these all things would, would would be covered across in detail guys can you think of any other channel guys which you go on to on the internet which you go on to any which you go on to internet and uh, it's not been mentioned over here now this is only the places guys where consumers spend in time this is not everything which we are going to be covered across in their entire uh, curriculum entire course guys you know there are more things which will come underneath this which will be google analytics is one of the things google analytics is not what a internet consumer really goes on to that's something which the advertiser and the marketer really goes on to all right so point number 6 point number 7 guys a point number 8 which i'm adding on over here this is from the curriculum perspective we'll also learn things like website creation and development we'll also understand now these are from the overall curriculum perspective guys website creation and development mobile app creation and development plus we will also do google analytics or it's also called digital analytics whatever we call that or if i am not putting them across in yellow highlight is just because these are not, this is not these are not the answers to my question that what all channels do people really go on to what all channels people really go on to when they are on the internet but just to let you know that 6 7 8 point is the one which we will understand that this is something which the advertisers do all right and we need to learn this as a part of the training plus if we try to talk from the analytics and webmaster also webmaster is definitely part of uh, what do you say search engine optimization which is this one so webmaster will actually come underneath this website uh, so webmaster is part of it which will be covered for sure if you want me to write it across over here i can mention google webmaster is used for seo purpose only and we'll cover that all right so this is from the basics guys i hope you guys have got a framework in your mind that uh, first of all why marketing what people do with marketing what is the objective and then uh, when the marketers are trying to tap into their end customers they first of all need to know who their target audience is once they have understood their target audience the idea is to go ahead and understand their uh, also online browsing behavior so we understood that the online browsing behavior of people mainly rotates across around these channels only like social media third party sites email search engines and mobile marketings now pratik says ads on social media like facebook youtube are also paid yes absolutely they are paid you do pay across to youtube and also you know facebook and so forth for this particular purpose all right so from the perspective of what people do on the internet and how marketers can really go ahead and jump onto these platforms and showcase their product and service with the right set of uh, with the right set of what do you say message the key core strength area and so forth we'll understand that all right so we'll we'll start with the website creation part guys uh today or maybe i i'll go ahead and uh, talk further more in detail about some of the basics of this website creation can be taken tomorrow all right i'll go ahead and uh, give you a glimpse of all of these in bit detail by taking them one after another so what we can do we can go for our uh, longer break now and then after that uh, the last remaining uh, hour would be focused more towards focused towards uh, explanation of these basic things for the more in detail all right so uh, are we all good can i get a confirmation if you have any questions you can type that across all right thanks sovik for acknowledging how about others thanks anuja thanks prateek thank you mukul and thanks atanu so we'll go for a bigger break now for 20 25 minutes and then after the break we'll 
to talk further. All right. Thanks. I'm going to put myself on the mute now.
All right, guys, let's get started after the break. Just trying to check if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Shall we get started after the break, guys? All right, perfect. Thanks, Anuja, for acknowledging. Now, with regards to all of these things, which is the digital, I believe others can also hear me, right? Can I get a confirmation in the chat window, guys? All right. Thanks, Pratik, and thank you, Sovik. Now, with regards to social media marketing and also the display advertising, I'll just go ahead and quickly open across all of these. So the first, first and the foremost guys is social media marketing. The, the number one social media marketing website as you are all aware, it's Facebook, right? Facebook is the king. Now when we talk about social media website, what do we really understand by the term social media? A website which helps us to go ahead and promote across, not, not just sorry, promote, a website, not from a marketer's perspective. Social media is a website where we can go ahead and, uh, you know, network across with people whom we know and so forth, right? And what we really get to see on the social media is uh, not just friends, families, and colleagues and so forth, but also new connections which we can make across. All right, so we do have the uh, functionality of adding across friends onto our Facebook profiles, plus we do get across an option of uh, liking certain pages. Now, liking of pages, guys, if we talk about, how does that happen? If you look into certain uh, Facebook pages, so, Now, as a brand, as a specific uh, product or a service, you can create across your own Facebook page. So this is one thing which we'll understand as we'll uh, talk about social media, the unpaid section, guys. In the unpaid section, we'll understand from the marketing perspective how a brand can actually go ahead and set up across a Facebook page. I know that's not a, for some of you, this won't be a pretty much a new thing. You might have really known that across, but we'll, We'll do right from the beginning. We'll understand right from the beginning. A Facebook business page gets created. So it's just something like this. I've shared across a URL of a page, which is my page already. All right. We'll understand how can we really leverage across uh, this particular resource, which Facebook gives us and uh, what all different options are there. What do we mean by vanity URL? So these are some of the things which I'm talking about right now, but we'll understand later on. There's something called vanity URL or a, you can say the username of your page, all right? Plus various different functionalities are there. How do we really go ahead and set that up? How do we really look at the analytics section of our Facebook page? Now this is purely the unpaid part, all right? So I'm just showcasing you the unpaid part of Facebook to begin with. How many people uh, liked our page, viewed the page? How many people actually saw my post, right? And how much was the engagement? What does this what do these things really mean, right, for, for our marketers? How can we really go ahead and improve across all of these things? Uh, what are the different options, like events, videos, and so forth, right? All of these things we'll understand, plus we can give across access of our page to various other people, which is called the admin access, basically. So by getting into the page role section, we can uh, assign you know, roles to certain other people. I can give across access of my page to other people. Plus we can create across now. The other part is the advertisement part. I can go ahead and uh, create Facebook. Now this is the uh, paid section guys, the paid form of uh, social media marketing. We can go ahead and promote across our Facebook post guys, our Facebook page entirely, or maybe our website, whichever the thing may be. I can promote my Facebook page. I can promote across my certain post. All right. So if I've got a certain post, which I want to go ahead and promote it across uh, to the entire world, I can use multiple paid 
uh, options. So there are multiple paid options, which we'll understand. All right. We'll see how can we promote across all of these. Now that's one. The other thing is through the advertising section, we can go to the advertising section and create ads over there. So all of these things would be uh, done across in detail. Now, not just only with Facebook, but we'll also understand for Twitter, for LinkedIn and so forth. So even on Twitter, if you will go, there are multiple functionalities which can be utilized across by a marketer in terms of you know, achieving across your marketing objectives. All right. You do get across various functions. Uh, there are various things underneath Twitter, which is like how many tweets you have done, how many people are following you and the follower funda. Plus, you can create multiple list so you can segregate across people who are following you that kind of thing happens across plus you can see what is hashtag what is that thing really all about how can we leverage that as a marketer so i'm just letting you know in brief that this is what you can expect in the upcoming sessions which we'll understand in detail right how do we really create content around these there are various different tools which are available uh, for the for, for getting to know uh, what's trending in and what sort of content should we create across? How can we leverage benefit out of these, uh, you know, trends and so forth? We'll understand that part. Plus, uh, there are certain tools through which we can, uh, you know, do our social media marketing in the most effective and the best fashion. Like uh, Hootsuite is one of them and there are plenty of others. All right. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. I'll try to see if I can uh, give you the access for the paid, the most major important ones, all right? Like I've already mentioned in the expectation document. And I'll, I'll share that particular piece of document, guys, at the end of the session, I'll email it across to you. All right, this is Hootsuite. I've got my LinkedIn, I've got my Facebook page, I've got my Facebook profile connected over here. What happened with this is, Whenever I'll update across, uh, post across a status update over here on Hootsuite, it will go on the wall of all the three social media networks which I have connected over here. All right. So I can even schedule it across for a later period of time. So if I'll post in across, uh, you know, status update right now, I don't want, I don't want them to get posted right away. I want them to get, po you know, posted across on a future date, let's say on 15th of April. On 26th of April, I can schedule my post for future for as uh, for for maximum six months, six months from the date when I am uh, doing it across. All right. Now that's another thing. Uh, so with Twitter also, okay, there's another tool which is Sprout Social, which is right in front of us. Sprout Social also helps in uh, performing social media marketing uh, in the most effective fashion. There are certain more tools, guys, which we'll keep keep looking at we'll, we'll understand and we'll learn more about that so you do get across a free trial option also so some of them are paid and some of them are not so i'll, I'll keep letting you know uh, which one are paid and which one are not and so forth all right the ones which are paid if they are giving you the uh, you know if they are giving us the free trial version then i'll recommend you to definitely use the trial version and run around that and if not then uh, i'll try to get across the paid access and give you a paid access for 15 to 30 days like i promised in my expectation document all right so what all these tools does i'll go ahead and give you the glimpse of their dashboard as we will move further now this is one part guys social media the other module which we work, which we'll be working across is Google Analytics. Now I'm not going in the sequence as of now. I'll share the sequence uh, pretty sooner, guys. That how are we going to start with? We'll start with website first, and then we'll start with SEO and Google AdWords. So just to let you know, this is going to be our sequence for the upcoming sessions. After the introduction, so today it's introduction. Tomorrow we'll start with website creation and development, guys, and then follow to that it would be SEO, and then follow to that would be the Google AdWords, which is nothing but the paid form of the paid SEM basically. All right. So the unpaid SEM comes in before. I'm just typing that across. So this is going to be the approach like. So 
after the basics have been covered. Now I'm giving you a glimpse of Google Analytics also, guys, how Google Analytics really looks like. Now, whatever campaigns we run, whether it's a paid campaign on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, so right, even on LinkedIn also, we do get to see various different advertisements. We'll learn that part also, how do we create, uh, you know, advertisements on LinkedIn. So they're not coming in right over here. So when I'll go into the home page, how do we place them? How do we really get maximum uh, benefit out of those ads? We'll understand all of that. Okay, pretty strange. I'm not getting across. I'm not getting even a single LinkedIn paid ad. All right, so here you can see. One of the ads is right up over here, which is a banner ad. Sometimes there are text ads also, and there are banner ads also, which we do get. How can you recognize? It's the ad symbol, ad symbol right over here. So we'll understand all of that. And whenever we run across campaign, guys, paid ads, unpaid uh, advertising or promotion and so forth, unpaid promotion, which is SEO. When we are doing all of that, we will be getting across traffic onto our website. Now the traffic which will come onto our website has to be evaluated. For that very purpose, we'll be using across Google Analytics as a tool. I'll show you how do we really configure our website with Google Analytics, what is the procedure. Once we do that, we'll start getting across data and how the data is really gonna look like. I'm giving you a glimpse of it. I'm clicking onto Analytics. All right, so let me just grab a particular website for which analytics has been set up and there is data for that particular website. Data in the sense traffic is coming across on that specific website. All right, so I've got one of the websites uh, open up over here and what I have selected right now is the date range from 1st of Feb till 31st of March for the last two months, what's been the overall traffic like? So, you know, we'll, we, I'll, I'll speak about all of this. How do we configure? What all exactly things over here really mean? What do we mean by sessions, users, page views, bounce rate, average? And these are just examples. Yes, absolutely. I mean, all of these things would be explained in detail. You can, uh, would not be seeing them to begin with. Reason being, when you will have your website uh, for the first time, you will not have that amount of traffic. But once your website will start getting across traffic, then you will definitely see them for your website in Google Analytics. So your website analytics will be there for sure, okay? But in terms of evaluating, in terms of getting, I mean, this, this huge amount of traffic might not, you might not receive in the initial stage. When you keep promoting your website, you will have more sessions coming over. So initially, Let's say, you know, this is a very old website. The promotion is getting done across at a higher level. It's getting across almost close to 18,000 on an average impressions daily uh, sessions. Your website might get 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. And then over the period of time, it will keep increasing, right? As you will keep adding in more, uh, I would say, promotional efforts, more efforts towards it. But the answer is yes. You will also see them in Google Analytics. But initially, the data would be not that huge. Right, the number of sessions and users and all that would not be huge, but every single metric which is shown over here, you'll also get to see in Google Analytics. You will be able to understand what are these things which Google Analytics provides us and what is the meaning of each one of them you can get to see, right? You'll get to see all the entire panel for your Google Analytics too and, and you'll be able to understand what is the objective, what is the overall value of every single section over here, all right? Uh, this is one of the tab guys, real time tab, uh, which gives us reporting of the traffic, which is there on the website at this given point of time. Now this, you will see, it'll keep going up or down depending upon how much website, how much people are there on the website right now. Right. So it's 160. All right. Now this can actually go down. How many of them, how much percentage of traffic has come through mobile and how much through desktop and so forth. That percentage is also given. Now that you can see now it moved up to 161. One more person would have actually come. These are the active users on the site. All right, we will we'll cover that part in detail, guys. This is just a glimpse of it. We do also get to know what are the top locations. All right. 
from what all different places what all different places the uh, you know traffic is coming across and so forth from india from united states from this and that and so forth all right so that's going to be covered across in detail guys this is about google antics i've told you about social media we'll also understand the search engine part now just giving you a glimpse of search engine also now today if i talk about i mean today if I, as a normal internet user i've got a need again i'm taking the same example i need a phone for myself and i have decided that i'm going to buy across an iphone 7 for myself i want to do comparisons i want to see which all websites are are you know trying to offer across iphone 7 whatever the scenario may be now as you can see there are various different marketers who are trying to catch hold of my attention now these are some these are also ads we'll understand what sort of ads are these just to let you know these are called google shopping ads now this is part of the paid search engine marketing this is paid search engine marketing and the one which is right over here is also paid search engine marketing guys why uh, i mean how how did i really got to know this with the ad symbol the search results with the ad symbol are actually called the paid search engine marketing that this comes under paid search engine marketing we learn and understand how they are being created how they are being optimized i can even give you a glimpse of uh, the platform which is google adwords where these ads are being created so i've got multiple campaigns which i can show you i'm just opening across an adwords now i don't want you to get confused this is just i mean a, a, a glimpse of what all we will be learning across so don't get confused these all things would be covered across in detail guys all right so this is how a google adwords platform really look like and uh, underneath the google <clears throat> excuse me i've shown you google antics underneath the google adwords uh, platform you do get to see or you do get to create across multiple ads multiple campaigns and so forth now this might this might sound french right now this might not really make sense right now but as we move further we'll understand what do we mean by campaigns ad groups settings and so forth you know the overall ads which gets created over here in this platform guys or right, these are the these are the formation of the ads when they are being created we have to uh, we get them shown over here for certain respective keywords now how these keywords or search queries are being decided what is the procedure we'll take multiple case studies and i'll take multiple scenarios guys multiple scenarios where i'll put each one of you in the uh, you know shoes of a of a digital marketer who's working for a digital marketing agency and i'm going to be the client and i'll keep asking you questions that will really make you think hard that part will really make you think hard and then when you'll start coming up with the answers uh, that that'll be really fun all right so this is all about social media analytics and also about uh, the paid and the unpaid search engine marketing all right plus the various other paid marketing which you get to see across on different websites third party websites we'll understand about that part also like if you go on to any specific news site i've taken example of ndtv over here what you will get to see now this is one of the ad guys this is another ad of C by CS by Nexa. Now we'll understand how they are being created. What is the mechanism which works around that? There's an ad by LinkedIn over here. There are there are going to be further more ads. We'll also understand that remarketing process, right? That remarketing process, as in like you've been to one specific website and uh, you haven't really purchased the product from them, but whatever product you saw, that's following you. That product is following you and so forth. All right, so there is an ad. So you know, I, I'm I'm actually flying to Toronto. I'm actually in New Delhi right now. I have to fly to Toronto um, in in the month of April. So I was looking at you know airline tickets, and that's what remarketing is. I didn't end up purchasing from them as of now, but they're trying to retarget me, guys. Right? This is another example of remarketing. I I search for New Delhi to Toronto online airline tickets and uh, i didn't purchase them but i've been actually shown across that so how that really mechanism works across we'll understand all of this in our entire training guys plus email marketing i don't think i have to give you understanding about this mobile app marketing is also 
uh, just pure ads which you get to see across onto uh, what do you say mobile apps and that's also done with the help of the mobile app marketing is also done with the help of Google AdWords guys and if I talk about email marketing it's done with the help of various different tools like MailChimp etc. Pradeek says make my trip is aware now that we are seeing their ads on NDTV I mean they will be able to know this oh yes absolutely in their AdWords account they'll be able to know this. All right, so we'll start with website creation tomorrow, guys. And uh, I'm done for today. I think I've given you enough information to soak in today and really uh, read more about it. You can go to Google and read uh, much more about things like remarketing, display advertising, if you wish to, uh, email marketing, paid search and marketing. But tomorrow we'll start with the website creation part. All right. And I'll show you how do we really book a domain, book hosting, get started with web, WordPress website creation, and get across a theme set up and so forth. All right. So any last questions, queries, doubts you have, feel free to put that across in the chat window before we wrap up our session for today. Uh, Tanu says, shall we make our own website? Absolutely. You will be given across a domain and hosting and you'll be making across a website of yours. I'll be giving you the overall instructions on how to do that. All right. Perfect. So if there would be web templates. Absolutely. There would be web templates. You've got that correct. So with the help of web templates, because I want to make it simple, easy, uh, and the most effective way has to be taught across. All right. Any other questions? Any other queries, guys? You have. So, how was the session? Like, any feedback? If you wanna, let me know. Awesome, good session. Thank you. Thanks so much, Sovik, for uh, your valuable feedback. How about others? How was the session, guys? Great session, thank you so much. Thanks, I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, launch across a poll. On a scale of one, two, three, four, and five guys, do let me know how would you rate across this particular session, five being the max and one being the least. Any uh, thing all right, so yes recording would be absolutely sure you will you can raise across your doubts and uh, Recording would be shared across Monday onwards All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and launch across a poll guys. Give me a second Not sure whether that will work or not All right, guys, so I've got a poll. Uh, somehow the question didn't really come in. So the question is in the poll. So you might have got across a poll, guys, in front of your screen. How would you rate the entire session on a scale of one to five? Five being the max. Uh, you will get across the link for the recorded session in your email uh, on Monday or maximum by Tuesday from Nitin. There's no option for five, all right. All right, so you can, uh, okay, somehow the, uh, in terms of question, the, so on a scale of one to four, you can do that. So on a scale of one to four, four being the max and one being the least, next time I'm gonna launch the poll and make sure that uh, this mistake doesn't happen again. All right, thanks so much guys for, your valuable inputs, I believe uh, everyone has given across their poll and so forth. They're, they're, all right, so no, a couple of more people remaining. So I can see it. Uh, 
Two more participants left with the poll part. All right, one more left, four done. So Anuja, Tanu, Mukul, Pratik, and Sovik. Uh, I think there's... All right, so tomorrow, guys, we're gonna get started. I've already told you about the website, marketing website uh, creation, and the designing and the development thing, and then we'll take it further from there. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks for, okay, I've got all the five polls, and thanks so much. And thanks everyone for being part of the session. You'll get across the recording pretty soon next week. Take care, guys. Take care. Till, till tomorrow, we'll meet tomorrow, same time. Thanks. Bye bye.